Hello viewers, welcome to a new video. So in today's video, we are going to learn about how you can release a new version for your already published Play Store app. For this, first of all, you need to enter your Play Console. You can see I have two apps here. Second one is Spider. I will upload this uh, app now. From this page, you have to go to View Release Overview. You can see my current version is 1.0.10 now we will upload another updated version i actually made some changes in my app so i'm uploading the new version and i thought it would be a great idea to make a video on it that can be helpful for you too whatever let's move to our project file here i'm working in vs code and one thing is to be noted here that this app is built on flutter this is an e-commerce app specially made for local shops and services. It covers renting service also. You can download it and have a try. I think you will love it. Okay, let's uh, get back to the video. After the changes you have done, you have to do two things in your code. First of all, you need to go to the pubspec.yml file, then find version from this page. As you can see, my current Play Store app version is 1.0.10. Here I need to explain the numbers to you. See the three numbers separated by dots. The first digit actually indicates the main version. If there is any significant changes in your app, then you can increase this number. For any minor update, you will increase the third digit. And for any update that is in between these two for that, you will increase the second digit. And the latest version here in my case is 11. You have to increase it uh, by one each time you release a new version of your app no matter how big or small the update is. For every new release, you have to increase one with the previous latest version number. As my update is minor, so I am increasing the third digit which was previously 10. Now after increasing it, it will be 11. And the version number will be 12 in this case as the previous one was 11. Now you have to release a bundle because you know Play Store cannot take APK files. You have to provide a bundle for the Play Store. Actually this package contains APKs for all types of devices. When somebody uh, will download your app, Play Store will provide him in the appropriate app according to his device. That's why you have to upload the APK bundle for the Play Store. And to get the bundle you have to write a command here. This is Flutter Build App Bundle. Now let's see where you will find this file. So these are my project files. From there you have to go to build, then go to the app folder, output, bundle release. Now you can see the file app bundle.abb. Now let's open this file in file explorer. This is the file that you have to upload to play store. For that you have to go to the release dashboard. Then click on create a new release. Now you can see the option to upload your file. Simply drag and drop the file. The file will start uploading. Now you have some things here. First of all, you need to put the version name here. The same thing as the version name you just edited in the project files. If you have any release notes for your user, then you can add these here as well. I am keeping it as it is. I just changed the release name which is mandatory. Now you have to wait for the upload to be completed. Play Store actually manually review all of your updates for apps before going to the Play Store. This manual review sometimes may take longer time but in general it takes around 1 to 2 hour. But last week it took around 15 days for the same process for me. But it doesn't happen always. Now you can see my upload is completed. You can press next button. Now you can see the version name 12 is in this case. Then press start roll out to production. That's all you have to do. And it is showing that this version is in review. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you face any issues comment box is open for you. I will try my best to answer your questions. If you like this video, a thumbs up and a free subscription would be great. That's all for today. See you in the next one.